Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about the lab experiment. And the aim of the experiment is titration of KMnO4 versus Mohr salt. In your textbook, the aim of the experiment may also be written like to determine the concentration or molarity of KMnO4 solution by titrating it against a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate. So this is important word standard ferrous ammonium sulfate is used to determine the concentration of KMnO4 solution. And this Mohr salt having the name ferrous ammonium sulfate. So it can be written in either form, either Mohr salt or as ferrous ammonium sulfate. In the titrations, we use indicators to determine the endpoint of the reaction. So here in the redox titrations, we are having three different type of indicators. One is external indicator, self indicator and internal indicator. But here in the titration of KMnO4 versus Mohr salt, KMnO4 works as a self indicator. So we do not need any indicator in this titration because our KMnO4 works as a self-indicator. And at the end point, purple color of KMnO4 appears. Now, how this reaction takes place, why this purple color appears? So, it is because here KMnO4 or MnO4- minus ions are of violet color or we can say purple color. And here Mn2 plus ions are colorless. Till the reaction of oxidation of Fe2 plus and reduction of Mn7 plus going on, the purple color of this KMnO4 is disappear. When all the iron 2 plus which is present in the solution converts to Fe3 plus, then no further reduction of KMnO4 takes place. So these MnO4 minus ions now have their existence in the solution and since this is of violet color so at the end point when all the Fe2 plus converted to Fe3 plus this MnO4 remains as such in the solution and it gives the purple color. This reaction I will show you while we are doing the lab activity. Here I am showing you how to prepare KMnO4 solution in 100 ml. So, this is the molecular weight of KMnO4. Here you can 158 KMnO4. Gas number is this. And I just want to prepare M by 10 or 0.1 molar solution. So that 1.58 grams in 100 ml to dissolve. I am going now. I am going to weigh this KMnO4 solution. This and now I am going to weigh KMnO4. These are bright purple crystals. So here 1.58. Now I am going to make up the solution. And this will be our 0.1 molar or M by 10 KMnO4 solution. Now, now we are preparing the solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate or more salt. Its molecular weight is 392. This is its formula. We NH4 whole twice SO4, FeSO4, Let's sketch number and then here I'll show you how it looks like. So it is slight green. You can see this is not white. This little greenish. And now we are going to weigh. So I am going to tear this. And how to prepare M by 20 ferrous ammonium sulfate. Formula is this. It is also known as Mohr salt. So I always say this formula. Weight is equal to molarity into molecular weight into volume. So volume we are taking 100 ml. And to convert this volume 100 ml to 1 liter, we are dividing it by 1000. So 
सो मोलिकुलर वेट इज थ्री नाइनटी टू इन टू हंड्रेड दिस मोलैरिटी विच वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर सो वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ग्राम इन हंड्रेड एम एल वी हैव टू डिजोल्व जस्ट टू प्रिपेयर एम बाई ट्वेंटी पैरासमोनियम सल्फेट सो हेयर वी आर हैविंग वन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एट ग्राम राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर दिस पैरासमोनियम सल्फेट so the weight taken is 1.959 gram now we are going to transfer this in the measuring flask of 100 ml i am going to add little distilled water to this i am going to show you that this reaction of dissolution of parasomonium sulfate in water is an endothermic reaction digital thermometer and the temperature is now 28.2 degree centigrade now i am showing you you have attached to this bottom of this flask and you can see decrease in temperature so it is an endothermic reaction now i have make up date up to 100 ml so the use of adding hcl to this is it will not get hydrolyzed otherwise it will get hydrolyzed we are having parasomonium sulfate solution and here i am having this kmno4 which i have already filled to this burette now we are taking 20 ml of this parasomonium sulfate solution which is of m by 20 concentration to the conical flask and before adding this we are just rinsing this conical flask it is ferrosamonium sulfate now i am transferring this 20 ml to this conical flask and again i am adding now i am adding concentrated h2so4 1 ml to this conical flask just to facilitate the redox reaction so here you may also have a question why we have previously added few drops of h2so4 to the solution so that is just to prevent the hydrolysis of ferrous sulfate in the solution and mm -hmm. this is just to facilitate the redox reaction here the initial reading of the burette before starting the titration here you can see the disappearance of this kmno4 color it means iron 2 plus is present there which is oxidized to fp3 plus and M mno4 ions is converted to mn2 plus now all the fp2 plus is converted to fp3 plus and no change in the mno4 minus ion oxidation state so we are having at the end point this purple color now we are measuring the final reading it is 2.2 so here 20 ml of mohr salt i have taken initial reading 0 final reading 2.2 so kmno4 volume consumed is 2.2 minus into 2.2 ml now the calculation by the molarity equation For chemical equivalence, M1V1 is equal to M2V2. So for KMnO4, 2.2 mL is consumed, and for ferrous ammonium sulfate, it is of M by 20, and its 20 mL is taken. Right. So we are getting this. Now we are going to multiply it by 5, and why it is so? So for this, we have to see the reactions which are involved in this titration. So here it is written in two different forms: molecular equation and ionic equation. I will explain it in my slide. So here the reaction which takes place in molecular form is like this: K 
KMnO4, H2SO4 and this produces K2SO4, MnSO4 plus H2O plus 5 nascent oxygen. And this nascent oxygen which is produced over there by the reaction of KMnO4 and H2SO4 that is used to oxidize this Fe-SO4 and H4 whole twice SO4, 6 H2O. This is the molecular formula of ferrous ammonium sulfate or this is also known as mohor salt. And in this mohor salt, it's a double salt. And in this mohor salt, this iron is in 2 plus oxidation state. So this iron 2 plus on reaction with this nascent oxygen get oxidized to Fe2SO4 whole thrice. So you will find that Fe is in plus 3 oxidation state here. So Fe2 plus converted to Fe3 plus oxidation state whereas this ammonium sulfate remains as such and water. Right, so from where this 13 water, so 6 into 2, so 12 plus 1 H2O will be produced from this, so 13 H2O. Now if we are going to balance this equation, so first what we need to do, we need to balance this nascent oxygen. Here we are having 5 nascent oxygen and here we are consuming 1 nascent oxygen. So that is not possible actually. So for that purpose, we need to multiply this equation by 5. And on balancing this equation, this 5O nascent oxygen will be cancelled out by this 5O. And here we are having KMnO4 from here and 3H2SO4 plus 5H2SO4. So total 8H2SO4 plus 10 more salt. This will give you K2SO4, 2MnSO4 and here. 5 times Fe, Fe2SO4 whole thrice plus 10 times NH4 whole twice SO4 plus if we multiply this 13 into 5, 65 plus 3 will give you it H2O. So this is how this molecular reaction will be explained. Now if we write this equation in terms of ionic reaction then it will be like this. So from KMnO4 we are having K plus MnO4 minus. So we are not considering K plus here. So only MnO4 minus just for the sake of simplicity. Plus 8H plus which comes from H2SO4. And in this reaction, since Mn7 plus is converted to Mn2 plus, means 5 electrons are involved in this plus 7 to plus 2. So here we are having 5 electrons. And plus wa and water. Right. Whereas for Fe2 plus, which comes from ferrous ammonium sulfate, that converts to Fe3 plus, and since the oxidation state increases, so its oxidation takes place. And in this reaction, so one electron is involved here in this reaction, plus two to plus three. Since in this reaction five electrons are involved, whereas in this reaction one electron is involved, so we are just balancing this reaction by multiplying five. And on balancing, what we will get? So, MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 5Fe2 plus and on the right hand side, what we are having? Mn2 plus plus 5Fe3 plus plus 4H2. So, this is how we are having this reaction in the balanced form. Now, the observation what we have observed for concordant reading, you repeat this experiment for three times. Now the calculation part, so here we are having A1, M1, V1 is equal to A2, M2, V2. So this is the molarity equation for the, for the redox titration. Suppose this is for KMnO4 and this is for Mohor salt. So whatever you will choose, either side you can choose, but you please stick to that point, how many electrons are involved there. So accordingly we will put all the values for that particular species. Right, so here if we are considering that A1 is for KMnO4, then A1 is will be equal to 5 because number of electrons gained per formula unit of KMnO4 in the balance equation of half cell and A2 is for Mohr salt. So one electron is involved for Mohr salt as I explained in the equation. So A2 is equal to 1. Number of electron lost per formula unit of Mohr salt in a balance equation of half cell reaction per mole. So this is important. Now we are going to calculate 
so 5 a1 is 5 from here you can see m1 we have to check m2 means the volume consumed for KMNO4 is 2.2 and A2 is R1 as I have written here Fe2 plus 2 Fe3 plus so one electron is involved only so 1 into M by 20 which we have which we prepared for more salt M by 20 concentrate and it's 20 ml is taken in the conical plot so this is how we get M1 is equal to M by 11 and to determine the strength, strength is equal to molarity into molecular weight of KMnO4. Since we are going to calculate the, we, we have the molarity of KMnO4. So for its strength, molecular weight of KMnO4. So strength is equal to M by 11, which is the molarity. Mole per liter into 158 gram per mole is its molecular weight. So from mole to mole cancel out, so it will be gram per liter. 14.4 gram per liter and this is in one liter actually so if i just want to calculate in 100 ml so 1.44 grams in 100 ml which i have taken however so this is the result it suggests that in the kmno4 1.44 gram kmno4 is dissolved in 100 ml Whereas I have dissolved 1.58 grams in 100 ml. So 0.14 gram is the error which I get from this titration. So that may be just because of the impurities present in KMNO4, just because of the manual errors like endpoint is changed, correction in the volume. So there are several other manual errors which we are having here. But it is quite close to that which we have taken, right? This is how one can standardize the given KMNO4 solution by using this ferrous ammonium sulfate. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this lab activity and this experiment. If you find it informative, if you find the same, just like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.